everybody, and welcome back to Terrible Lighting. Today we will be reacting to Vices and Virtues, Part 2 by Panic Disco. Because I've got to really get this out of the way before next week. Because next week's going to be a mess. I'm going to try to review every single Offspring album in one week. Or react to every single Offspring album. Because they're... I have to get Panic at Disco done first, and I see they have like, mm, I'd like to say uh, 10 albums, or see, something around there. I believe I'm on Ready to Go Get Me Out of My Mind. So here we go. After the uh, this is kind of loud. Alright. Hopefully this is more rock driven. I've got three more Panic albums to review dash react after I get done with this. Because I've already heard two of them, so there'll be more reviews and reactions. This is a good opening track so far. That bass line back's nice. Why is this mix so quiet? Like, compared to the ad, and I have it turned all the way up on both my radio and the laptop. I like this. I think I've heard this before, but... To my uh, review page, Ooh. the shouting vocal in back. I guess it's not gonna do it there since it's the O O O's. The O O O's fit in context of what he's saying, though. So I'm fine with that. Here we go. I super. Oops. Ooh. Here, let me try to see if I can fix this volume real quick. There, it's a bit louder now. This drumming is nice. I will definitely be returning to this album in the future. I'll be returning to a favor too. And I'll probably be returning to Pretty Young. But... Both Panic albums so far have gotten 8 out of 10. So I was ready to go. That song's gonna be made. Eight, eight point, eight point five out of ten. All right, this is always, and now it's too loud. What happened to that energy on the last song? At least it's shorter, so it's a transitional cut, I'm going to assume. Let's put the last track's an 
Swing back to let me know. This is nice. It's still got that theatrical feel. Wow, this track goes absolutely nowhere. Um, I thought it was kind of building up before. But that build up kind of just kept building, and there's not enough time left for it just to explode. And that's not really Pink Disco style, anyways. So I'm giving that song 6.5 out of 10. This might end up being three parts if I decide to do the bonus tracks. But I won't do the bonus tracks till after my offspring, which. The calendar. That's an interesting sound to use. The mixing's quieter again. Why is the mixing on this album so inconsistent with sound wise, volume wise? I'm going to, like, I'm going to listen to this full album, but there's going to be a lot more cuts as uploads faster, by the way, when I don't have much to say, probably, or when the song kind of dip and start going slower. My hair is, I hate it. This, like, gang vocal is nice again. Twenty-second outro. Of course there is. Alright. And I know it won't lead into the next song, so... Okay, maybe it will. Whatever. That song... Seven out of ten. I liked it more than always. Less than trade mistakes. Definitely less than ready to go. Does this actually lead into the next track or does this go nowhere? Oh shit. I, I missed who said that when I said 20 seconds. There's 43 seconds left in this song. I'm skipping to the end of this outro to see if it actually leads into the next track. Nope, it is pointless. I like this sound though. Sir Smiles. It's got a nice bounce to it. I was just 
That's nice. Ooh, that drum, man. I'll definitely be coming to this track as long as it's not do anything stupid. I love this. This is getting an 8.5 ready to go. This build up. Oh, not exploding. This is a track. This might be my favorite. I might have to raise the 8.5 I said I thought I was going to give it. It's getting a 9 out of 10. It's tied with Let's Kill Tonight for my favorite song. I love that. Last song, Nearly Witches. Ever since we met in parentheses. And my hair's worse now. Of course it is. What? Why does this need a speaking intro? Okay, my rule about speaking intros like that for me personally is it has to go straight into an explosion after that speaking intro, which this has that intro and slowly builds up, and I don't like it because then it makes the intro seem pointless when you put something like this right after it, like a second intro. It's but this second intro type thing does sound right because I know it's gonna like build up to something else here. There we go. Why can't, like, okay. So, if you cut out always the calendar and hurricane, if you cut off the calendar, always memories and hurricane, this album would be nearly, this album would be great so far. I will listen to his bonus tracks in a part 3 at some point in time. They aren't essential though, so, like... I that clap there. And that phrase is good. Ooh, the slow down's nice. This is a nice, I think. Ooh. What is this? Experimental Panic at Disco question mark. This song isn't the exclamation mark after, mark after the P, it's the question mark after the P. It's like Panic at the Disco. 
is this actually them? Because I mean, it keeps the trade of any other Panic at Disco song. And you can tell it's a Panic at Disco song, but it's so much different than everything else I've really heard from them. What happened to this Panic at Disco? Why is Pray for the Wicked their last album? That like kid chanting in the background tonight. All right, that was amazing closer. Um. I'm giving the album an 8.8 .8 out of 10. I'm giving that song an 8.5 out of 10. This album is the best of the three. They've their three first ones, the early Panic era. Let's say because there's six albums. Let's say the first three are early Panic, the second three are late Panic, and the next album I will be reviewing is Two Words Live, Two Words Die. I'm hoping for that to come out. Let me get my schedule here. Uh, where is it? Where did I put it? Yeah, just give me a second, I'll find it. Uh, where did I have this written down? Is yeah, tomorrow, which will be Monday, April 5th. And then I plan on having Too Weird to Live come out April 7th. And like I said, everything should be out. All of the Pink Discos all together should be out by April 10th. Because next week, April 11th, through the... Well, I guess I'll be doing them through the 18th are going to be the Offspring days, where I'm going to go through and review and react to every single Offspring album. So yeah, that's going to be a week. <laughs> I have four video, like, on that April 11th, I have four Offspring videos. On April 12th, I have two. On April 13th, I have four. On April 14th, I have four. On April 15th, I have four. On April 16th, I have one. And on April 18th, I have one. So yeah, that's going to be a week. Um, but yeah, I'll see you in Too Weird to Live, Too Rare to Die. And bye. Hope you enjoyed this reaction slash review. Not really a review, more of a reaction than me just having a good time listening to this album. But see you next time. Hope you have a good day.